Welcome to the video presentation on the miscellaneous activities of a technical helper. A technical helper plays a significant role as a subordinate in assisting the lineman during his routine work. However, while doing so, the helper is not authorized to operate any electrical equipment. The main duties of a technical helper are ensuring good housekeeping, maintaining tools and tackles, digging and refilling trenches and pits, pulling the cables, erecting poles, holding the ladder and providing the required tools and items from the ground to the lineman on the pole. The helper also has to mark the safety zone by placing cones, caution tapes and danger signs. He has to pull the hand cart, rickshaw, cable drum and bring all the required materials to the site or workstation. Let us start with how the technical helper assists the lineman in overhead works. First of all, the lineman and helpers mark the safety zone by placing safety cones and caution tapes around the workplace. It is the responsibility of the technical helper to hold the ladder firmly so that the lineman can climb up the pole with his safety PPE and rope. The helper has to observe the lineman's movement till he ties the ladder and the safety belt to the pole. The helper must wait for the lineman's instructions and act accordingly at all times. Here, you see a technical helper holding the ladder firmly. The other helper is providing the tools and tackles. See carefully the knot and how it is tied so that the hook remains gripped within the rope knot and safely reaches the lineman without falling. Now, the helper is providing the ring spanner through the rope using the reef knot. The tools being passed onto the lineman remain gripped within the rope's knot. The knot is such that it is easy for the lineman to untie it. Next, we will learn about the different kinds of rope knots used for activities. Like, Preparing the jhula, providing tools to the lineman on the pole, bundling of material and lifting and unloading of the material. Generally, five types of knots are used, namely reef knot, club hitch, round turn with two half hitches, bowline and sheet bend. Now, we will see the collective approach of technical helpers in pulling the LTAB cable. Here, the lineman has fixed the pulley to the hook on the pole at different locations to pull the cable. The AB cable has inserted by the lineman onto the rollers of the pulley. Technical helpers are now pulling the rope so that the cable slides smoothly over the roller. Here, the end of the AB cable tied to the rope has reached the ground. The technical helpers are pulling the cable with the help of the rope. The other gang of technical helpers is lifting the cable from the other side. The cable is being laid on the roadside in alignment with the pulleys. You can see that the AB cable is sliding over the pulleys placed at different locations and the technical helpers are lifting the cable from the ground for smooth sailing without any damage to the cable due to the formation of any twists in the cable. In this way, the complete AB cable is pulled up without any drag on the surface of the cable. The complete AB cable has now been drawn and hooked up on the PCC pole. With this, you have seen the role of a technical helper in laying the overhead LTAB cable. Let us now look at the digging process where the technical helper prepares the pole pit, cable trench and the test pit for preparing and testing of the cable joint. Given here are the common tools used by technical helpers for digging and refilling. Hoe for digging soft soil and refilling. Pickaxes for digging hard soil. Shovel for refilling clay. Crowbar for removing hard rock. Here, the digging process is being carried out by the technical helper using the hoe and pickaxe. You may see that a pit is being excavated on the roadside. The safety zone has been barricaded by cones and caution tape. The depth of the pit for erecting a pole must be one-sixth of the length of the pole. For HT 11-meter PCC pole, the depth is 183 centimeters 
six feet and for LT nine meter pole. It is one fifty three centimeters five feet. The dimension of the pit is about one point two meters by zero point six meter for smooth sliding and perfect placement of the pole in the pit. An inclined trench having fifteen point two centimeters six inch width and ten point two centimeters four inch length is dug adjacent to the pit, as shown in the diagram. The depth of the LT cable is maintained as seventy five centimeters. The detail of trench excavation is shown in the drawing. Here you may see that excavation of the test pit is being carried out. The HD cable will be prepared straight through the joint. The dimensions of the pit will be three meters by two meters and depth as one point five meters. In this unit, you have seen the role of the technical helper in the excavation process. With this, you now know the details of the pit for erecting a pole. You have also learnt about the open cable trench and the test pit for preparing the cable joint. Now we will see the role of a technical helper when a cable is being laid. Technical helpers are releasing the cable from the drum. This process does not put any stress on the cable, as the cable is loosened easily over the roller stools. You may see that the roller stools are placed at various places up to the trench, so that the cable goes forward smoothly without any damage to its insulation. This is HT eleven KV three by four hundred square millimeters XLPE cable. It is being pulled by the trenchless machine. The circumference of the cable is big and it looks too heavy. The helpers pull the cable by using roller stools at specific distances, so that the cable moves ahead smoothly without damaging the insulation. Now let us see laying of the cable in an open trench. Where two HD cables are being laid, the 1.2 meter depth of the trench is the same as for a single cable. However, the width has been increased to maintain a certain gap between the cables. Here, two HD cables of 3 by 300 square millimeters, called double circuit, are being laid in an open trench. These cables are resting over a layer of 7.5 centimeter bed. The gap being maintained between the two cables with padding of bricks is more than the thickness of the cables. The depth of the cables in the trench is more than 1.2 meter standard, as confirmed by the measuring tape. Now, a layer of 7.5 centimeter sand is being formed to over the cable. The sand is used to provide additional thermal insulation and protect the cable from the UV effect, thus increasing the life of the cable. You can see that one of technical helpers is properly setting the sand layer and ensuring a uniformly equal distance over the cable. Here, a mechanical protection is being given to the cables. The sand bed will be covered with brick or RCC docket. Here, technical helpers are placing bricks in a row. No one can by mistake strike pickaxes or crowbars over the docket. The HD cables thus remain protected from any damage. Now you may see the refilling of the open trench. After completing the docketing, technical helpers are refilling the trench. First, they will fill the soft soil and then the hard soil excavated during the digging of the trench. They will ensure that the complete area is in its original form. For this, they will set the excavated soil so as to make it neat and tidy. Here we can see erection of the pole. In urban areas, poles are commonly erected with the help of a crane to save on labor and time. However, in rural areas where the crane facility may not be available, a joint team of technical helpers erects the poles with the help of a bipod and ropes. Let's see the procedure in detail. After the excavation of pits is complete, poles are erected using a bipod. Or wooden horse made of 15 centimeters GI pipe, six meter long. The spread of the legs is 10 meter. The tie wire for attachment of the bipod to the pole is about six meter long and is made of seven by ten SWG. 
stay wire of 3.15 mm is attached to the pole at 8 meters. The pole tied with three ropes is slid along the line route. The rope at the bottom prevents the pole from being dragged in the direction of the pull. To prevent the support from moving aside when rising, two guy ropes are fixed on both sides and attached to the temporary anchor. The bipod is being placed in position and attached to the pole by means of the tie wire. The pull for lifting the poles is provided by the rope pulley. When the pole has reached an angle of 35 degrees to 40 degrees, the derrick and the bottom holding rope is slowly released. When the pole assumes the vertical position, the holding ropes should be held tight. At the time of erection, it should be ensured that the two men are shifting the bipod as required while the pole is rising. When it is free at 40 degree angle, they will be joined by other two men who are at the holding rope. Now, let us see erection of the pole with the help of a crane. An 11 meter PCC pole is used in the HT 11 kV line. Here, they are erecting a DP structure. Technical helpers have placed the chain at the center of the pole so that the pole is hooked and remains vertically balanced when lifted freely above the ground. Here, it is time to fix the anchor rope on the lower side of pole for maneuvering the movement of the freely hanging PCC pole. You may see that on both the sides, there is tight anchoring by technical helpers to ensure that the PCC pole does not swing. Now, the pole is being vertically lifted by the crane and moved towards the pit location slowly without any hit or jerk. Both the technical helpers are firmly gripping the anchors for smooth movement. Here, the vertically lifted pole has come over the pit. Technical helpers are managing its alignment by pulling the anchors so that the pole can be placed at the exact location. One of the technical helpers has lifted the iron rod and placed it on the MS clamp of the PCC pole to twist it to the correct angle. The pole is now placed at the correct position but is still hooked to the crane. Now the refilling process is starting. Technical helpers are using tampers in addition to the hoe so that the soil firmly grips the PCC pole. They are filling both hard and soft soil in layers. They are also using the brick lining as well as hard soil. The hook of crane will be removed only after filling and tampering is complete. Here, the technical helpers are paving the soil of the pit. The complete excavated earth material will be uniformly spread into its original position. Their aim is to make the area neat and tidy. In this unit, you have seen the trenchless laying process of the HT underground cable. You have seen how the trenchless machine pulls the cable from one end. You have also seen the role of technical helpers in smooth sailing of the HT cable over the roller stools. This is the conventional method of the cable laying processes by preparing the open trench. You have further seen erection of the PCC pole in the conventional method where the pole is erected manually by a team of technical helpers. You have also seen the erection of the PCC pole through the use of a crane. A technical helper is supplying tools and accessories from the ground to the lineman who is on the pole, using the other end of the top, using the other end of the rope tied into a proper knot. The helper also assists in testing, repair and maintenance. A successful technical helper is one who has sound knowledge of handling the tools, selecting the proper size of tools as well as their upkeep and storing procedures. Let's now have a close look of the tools and tackles used by a distribution utility as part of its daily routine. It is desirable that a technical helper keeps all these items in safe custody and makes them available on demand. Meet Mr. Santram, who is coming after attending the scheduled maintenance. He keeps all his tools and tackles, including the scrap, at their designated places. Here, Mr. Santram is carrying a detailed list of tools and tackles in his toolbox and is checking these items before leaving the complaint center 
for the sites or his home. With this, we have seen the entire video presentation on how the miscellaneous activities of a technical helper are performed.